In this video, we're going to look at bank transfers and revaluations. So we'll use the US dollar account as an example. So we've already been through the reconciliation in the previous video. And we looked there about creating bank receipts and bank payments for interest income and bank fees, if you recall. Now let's do a bank transfer. So let's transfer from the US dollar account to a sterling bank account. And let's do it on today's date. The exchange rates we're going to look at in a moment, but the exchange rate for this is 0.77. We put a reference in, which is demo. The amount in US dollars, let's make it $5,000. And that converts to 3850 and we can save and post that. So that's posted. And if we want to see the ledger entries, which of course will be in sterling, we can see here that it's 3850 in the bank account. If we want to look at that amount on the nominal ledger, we can see here that the reference that we just created has generated a source payment of $5,000 so that's updated the source balance, which is in dollars, and then we've posted it in sterling to the nominal ledger. And of course, it's unreconciled. One thing to remember about transfers is you have to reconcile both ends, i.e. the from bank and the to bank. Now let's revalue this bank account. Revaluations can be done on any date, so you don't have to do it at today's date. It could be backdated. So let's say we were preparing the March accounts we might backdate to there. We'll put in an exchange rate to five decimal places. We'll revalue the account. And we can see here that that's going to generate an FX gain. And down here are the workings. So let's accept that. We'll post it. And that's been revalued. And then we're asked, do we want to update our currency exchange rates? Yes, we do. That exchange rate should be valid for all transactions after that date. So we'll update that too. The exchange rates are maintained under the period end menu. And we can see here, the exchange rate that we just created has been updated for the pound sterling to US dollar rate. Thank you for watching and enjoy the quiz.